Hey guys, Fiasco Denny and Steve here at Disney Springs, getting ready to fall into some flavors. Fantastic. The wonderful flavors is happening right now at Disney Springs, and we're gonna check some of them out today. We've picked an appetizer, and we've picked a couple of entrees, and a dessert or two, and a beverage to try. As you can see, the list is long. Very long. Very long. <laughs> so we're gonna do the best we can. And some of the items on this list are here year round and some are like special for this uh, month and a half, however long it is, little event. So where we also tried to pick some of the things that you're only going to get in this uh, this little this little window. But some of the things we try might be available, you know, year and round. Fingers crossed that it doesn't start pouring because like we're going in between sprinkling and yeah. not. So it's kind of fall like today. The weather's a yeah. little overcast. Yeah. I could, it's cooler. Like look at this. There's sleeves on Long your shirt. Yeah. What? Well, I, I mean, actually, I haven't rolled up, but still, that's big in Florida. I just came back from the north, so I must have brought the weather with me. Huh, yeah. That yeah. must Thank be you. it. Yeah. So let's go uh, check out some food. So um, we got the maple bourbon pork belly here at Blake Pig, and we're outside right now. And um, this is their dish that's for the wonderful flavors. Um, menu and it is uh it's chunks of pork belly they're definitely candy so they're a lot crunchier than i yes. might expect them to be there's a lot of caramelization going on yes and on they're on a bed of sweet potatoes and they've got a maple bourbon glaze all over them and um yeah it's a very it's a dichotomy of textures is yes. what we've got going on here uh because Right, the, the, the sweet potato, mashed sweet potato is very, very sweet, as is the uh, the sweet pork belly, but the pork belly is very crunchy, and obviously the mash is very mushy, so yes. it's like, you got a lot going on, but a lot of the same, a lot of different textures, but a lot of the same flavors, yeah. so it's kind of weird, but it, good. It does taste like fall, I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, it's got cinnamon in it, it's got a lot of sugar in it. Um, so this is both an entree and something to satisfy your sweet tooth. Yeah. But it's $12. It's not a lot of food for $12. I mean, the, the, the most food here is the, the, the mashed sweet potatoes, which can't be $12. I mean... And isn't going to be super filling. Yeah. So, um, but the pork belly, the, I love pork belly, so I'm, I'm but it's all only about a, that. It's only about maybe two silver dollars worth of pork belly and only one layer of that. Um, right. I don't, I'm sure they're making a nice margin on this dish. Yes, <laughs> yes, um, for sure. But um, it's, it's an interesting, interesting choice and we'll be off to our next one in just a few minutes. Yep. So I, bas I, I basically agree with everything they just said. Um, would like to add that they do accept discounts. They accept cast member, annual pass, and DVC, which that's a nice bonus. But this is like a food and wine, uh, fest basically Epcot Festival style dish. That's about how much food you're gonna get. Uh, and it is really delicious. Uh, if I was to get this at Food & Wine right now, I'd probably put that up there with one of my favorite items I tasted. But with that being said, the items that you get at Food & Wine are like six bucks, seven bucks. This was 12, so a little bit overpriced as far as that's concerned, but still really tasty. And if you don't mind paying a few extra bucks, I'd say, and you love fall flavors, this is definitely Fall flavors, I'd say, you know, go for it. We should. Boom. <laughs> very refrigerated. Oh, very, yeah. Mmm. The pumpkin flavor is not super strong. Mm -mm. You do, it like comes in a little bit after, but it it's does. not overly pumpkin. -y. No, and, um, it's not. It's very sugary. It's got a, a nice um, coating of cinnamon and sugar on the outside, which is really nice. And they paired it up with the cheesecake icing that also comes with um, the strawberry cheesecake churro that we've had. So it's it's good, but it doesn't strike me as like pumpkin. I'm dipping it from the other end. I'm Do not it. double dipping. 
I'm gonna do the Did same thing. Did we explain what this is? I, I don't think this we is did. the pumpkin spice churro from yeah. Sunshine Churros. I, I jumped right into the review part rather than explaining what we're even eating. Were you excited about trying the churro? I was very excited. That's it. That's it. So it's it's good, and we like Sunshine Churros. It's a little known fact that Sunshine Churro and and Steve just was bringing this up earlier. Fifty percent of their profits go towards charity. So that doesn't that make you want to buy all the yeah. churros? I mean, every single I'm a one. Big fan. So that's that's a neat thing. And while this, I have to say, is maybe not my favorite of the options that they have, no. it's still very good. It is. Um, I'll go back to the, the strawberry cheesecake one. That's like the. Yeah. You can't beat it. The coup de gras. Perfect. But this is really good. It's a nice option. And it's better than the ones you'll find in the parks. So we had to move to a little back alley at Disney Springs because there were a lot of musical festivities happening. You might be able to hear a little bit of it, that going on right now. But yeah, we got the pumpkin spice churro. It was six seventy five. dollars um, And I honestly think that, and I think we've come to the consensus that if you're a pumpkin spice fan, this might be disappointing to you. Uh, we even looked on the brochure. The picture looks completely different than what uh, than what you actually get. Maybe it'll even, it's even a little bit misleading. So, um, like... If I take your thing real quick, I'll show them. Um, here, this is the image that you get with like the little icing on the end, and uh, it's not that at all. It's just kind of a basic churro. Uh, maybe there is a little bit of pumpkin in there. It's like it's a little bit more bitter than a regular churro, I think, but it's definitely not what I would expect. So, uh, thumbs down for me. Okay, so we made it to Wolfgang Puck Express, which I love. You it's a too. great place, yeah. absolutely. And it's the one item that I wanted because I'm weird and I wanted a breakfast item in the middle of the day. It's the cornflake, where is it? Delicious. Delicious cornflake corn fre French toast with, made with maple syrup, season, seasonal French or seasonal fruit toppings, and cinnamon sugar. For $11. For $11. That's not that it's bad. a good deal. Cheaper than uh, the, uh, the pork, pork belly. belly yeah. That's right pork belly is meat and this is just bread but anyways unfortunately breakfast because it's a breakfast item it's only served until 11 a.m so we're out of luck yeah a little it's bummed, almost two now but also so. in retrospect i should have realized that is a breakfast item and they probably are not still serving it but also to my credit things that are breakfast items and things that are not breakfast items should probably be marked somehow yeah. on the official pamphlet here, here, Steve. I don't know. Makes complete sense. But anyways, we'll move on to the next thing. What's next? Um, I think we're headed that away. Okay. So we're we're headed on down to the west side. Let's do it. All right. So we're at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar now to get this uh, sharp pewtery pretzel. It's 22 bucks um, and it's extremely unique. Uh, obviously, if you know me, uh, this, I'm not gonna try everything on this board right now. But the other guys, the other guys will. But um, I tried the brost and the pepperoni. I uh, really liked it. Never had brost before. I think that's like a German thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like a German like sausage. Uh, I thought that was pretty good. The pepperoni was really smoky, and uh, I was I was kind of surprised by the pretzel. How it wasn't like it's not like a salted pretzel, but it's covered in these like these like seeds, which I guess if you come here not during the fall, you can order the pretzel by itself. Um, but during this special season, it's this uh, really unique charcuterie board, um, which I think is a, it's a fun thing to come here and order as like a party, uh, highly shareable, and uh, it's you know something to talk about around the table for sure. So yeah, let's hear what the others think now because they're gonna try everything. I only tried that. Okay, <laughs> this has been my favorite item by far. I know we've only done three things, but this is the top. It's like. And it's not even close. To me. I know it's easily the most expensive, but the pretzel is so delicious. The beard cheese uh, is like I can't. I'm lost for words here. Um, I really like that the pretzel is not just a salted pretzel. Yep. It's like uh, it's, it has pumpernickel seeds yeah. on it, so it gives it that you know kind of bitter taste, but it's. But you Good. dip it in the, the beer cheese or the mustard, and it's delicious. And then complement it with like the, the different cheeses and the uh, 
What is this? The sliced crust yeah. and the pepperoni and the prosciutto. So they've given you things that you can pair together that are going to taste so, so good. Yeah. So just the combination. And they have, they've given us pickles as well. This is a great, very shareable, as Fiasco said, very, very shareable dish. And uh, for 22 bucks, it's pretty cool. And you yeah. get to eat it in this really uniquely themed lounge. So, and and while 22 bucks might sound compared to the other things that we've had, where you know, like 12 bucks, seven, six, seven bucks, or whatever, sounds way more expensive. This is also way more food. Mm -hmm. Like this is, you could split this as an appetizer between two people before a dinner. Like if you had a, yep. a dinner at Disney Springs after this, you could stop here first and split this together before going on to. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And and this is only ten dollars more than the pork belly that we had. And, and think about the small pork. Yeah, right. The size got. of that was not even a, it was probably like one fifth yeah. or even smaller. I don't know. I've, this is perfect. Yeah. It's a great addition and a great, a great thing to choose when you've got, when you're facing with, you're faced with all these choices. This is a great one. So before we wrap up here at Jock Lindsay's, uh, the employee here, Desi, the cast member, actually just gave us all a magical moment. And it was extra magical for me, because I thought she was going to come up with like some special drink or something like that, which is really cool. But obviously, if, if you know me, also not my cup of tea because I don't drink. But she came out with Disney pins for all of us, and not just any Disney pin that you can buy in the store. The only way you're going to get this pin is if you get a magical moment here. So we all got these, and I'm super pumped. It even says right there, copyright Disney on the back. So it's an official Disney pin with an FAC number on it and everything. This is awesome. I'm already wearing mine, I'm holding Steve's, but this, this is awesome. All right, so now we are at the Yisaki cart, uh, and we got the kabocha pumpkin bun, and we got the pumpkin spice boba tea. So the kabocha, basically what that means in Japanese is it's their word for pumpkin or gourd. We learned that while uh, purchasing our, our snacks today. Um, but the bun here is cinnamon steamed, is a cinnamon steamed bun filled with sweet pumpkin cream and cranberries. And the tea is tea, almond milk, boba pearls, and spices. It is also non-alcoholic. These are my favorite things that we've tried today. They are so good. Immediately when I had them in my hands, the aroma of like the cinnamon, the pumpkin cinnamon, was just like, it was so refreshing and fall and exactly what you'd expect. Uh, and then when I tasted it, yeah, the the, uh, the dough is, is pumpkin flavored as well. The inside is, it's just delicious. It's so good. Um, I know my wife wishes she was here to try this. I might have to bring her home some pumpkin flavored stuff. Um, and the boba tea is, is is my favorite thing uh, because it's made with almond milk. If you got it without the whipped cream, dairy free. So if that was something that you're worried about, just say no whipped cream and your your drink is dairy free. But uh, let's see what the others think. Okay, so we had um, the pumpkin bun and we had the tea as well. And I thought they were really, really good. Yep. The um, bun almost tastes like Thanksgiving. It's really, it's got, um, it's spiced, the bun itself is spiced, so maybe cinnamon and nutmeg going on in there, and it it tastes like a pumpkin pie. Yeah, it's funny, it's like a Thanksgiving-y flavor, like a, what you think of like American type cuisine, but it's packaged in an international <laughs> presentation, yeah. and it's kind of a cool concept. Like, concept. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. And more than I thought I was going to because it kind of seems like a weird thing at first until you try it. Um, and the and kabocha. Kabocha. Uh, not kombucha, but different kabocha. Thing, yeah, different, different things. Different. We're not mispronouncing. Nope. Um, I was also pleasantly surprised by it. I'm not usually a fan of boba flavored things. It's not always my favorite thing. This was really good. It wasn't overly sweet, but also had that pumpkin-y flavor. Um, it just had everything that you kind of want. And it was, uh, the, the almond milk uh, also made it not, you know, like dairy products can kind of like leave a bad feeling in your stomach. This won't do that. So 
but it was still creamy. It was. It was like yeah. an iced chai tea latte almost, but it was it was even better than that because sometimes those can kind of taste a little cloying, but no, this not at all. Very light and refreshing. Yes, I agree. And unique. And it was today is not a, a very hot day. Like I was it's, like we it's said It's actually polished today. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's perfect. But I can also imagine if in a week from now, if it gets back up to the 90s, which it probably will. That this wouldn't be bad to drink on a super, super hot day, which you wouldn't expect from something that has like a, a whipped cream on top, because normally that would be kind of a gross thing to have in the middle of the summer. Um, it's not the middle of the summer anymore, but it's always the middle of the summer here in Orlando. Um, but yes, but very, Yusaki, very good. They've done a good job with, with their wonderful. It's just perfect. Yes. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for us falling into food, falling into magic, all Wonder that good jazz. Flavors. Exactly. All, all that stuff for today. However, uh, we, we did fail to mention uh, the boba tea was $8 and the boba bun or the uh, kabuch, pumpkin. the pumpkin bun was $5.75. Yep. Um, but yeah, out of everything, favorite item for me was the tea. What about you guys? Oh, gosh. Um, the Charcuterie pretzel yeah. at Jack Lindsay's Hangar Bar. That has to be, me too. That was next level. It yeah. was so good. I love the flavor pairings that they provided for us. The beer cheese fondue. I, I mean, will say, even though the pretzel was my, easily my favorite and it's not even close, it was also one of the least fall-y flavors. Like, not a lot of, like, pumpkin going on or... I guess maybe like the beer cheese is a little fall-y, kind of, Perhaps. but not not really. Like it was probably the least fall flavor item, but my favorite item. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, I love the pretzel too. Uh, I couldn't obviously put it as my top pick because, like, it, you know, what sixty percent of the things on there just aren't something that I eat. But the parts that I would eat, I I really enjoyed. So. Now, the Wonderful Flavors is now through November 4th, so you can pick this up anywhere that you park, wherever you come off the buses. Um, pick this and, and, and look at some favorites. There's a ton of things here at both counter yeah. service and table. Yeah, I was going to mention that. We really just showcased a lot of the things that you can kind of grab quick and move on. The longest thing was probably the pretzel. Um, but there are full-on sit-down restaurants like SDK and, yep. you know, other restaurants like that where it's like a whole meal type of experience. And they've, they've done a special fall flavor entree and also they've paired it with a fall flavor beverage as well. So if you are into specialty cocktails and things like that, you're going to want to pick this up so that you can see all the choices that you have in front of you. Also, I, I cursed this in the beginning of the video by saying I hope it doesn't rain. Because if you can't tell, it is currently raining. Yep, oh, right now. It's delightful. But yeah, uh, if any of you guys plan on falling into some flavors, <laughs> leave us a comment down below and let us know what you're excited to try. Or if you've tried something, let us know that you tried it and what you thought. But other than that, you guys got anything else? That's it. Happy fall! Thanks for watching. Yeah.